So we already went over some of the topics, but we'll lead off with the fact that it is International Women's Day, March 8th. Uh, and their theme this year is to inspire inclusion. So here's their um, tagline. So uh, when we inspire others to understand a woman's value, inclusion, and we forge a better world. And when women themselves are inspired to be included, there's a sense of belonging, relevance, and empowerment. Now look, I could do some mushy content right now. Tell me how it feels to be a woman. What don't people understand? People know women. If you, unless you've left your, not left your house since COVID, you've interacted with a woman. So that's not where we're going. Here's where I'm going with this. You know, this whole concept of inclusion. Inclusion can be a slippery slope. Mm. Where, do, where, where, does the, where do we draw the line on being included? And not being included, who do we include? Who do we not include? So for instance, some people say, I have this conversation with women, like I say, I'm a man. They go, yeah, I go, what happens if I now identify as a woman, as of right now? Mm -hmm. There are some women will say like, well, if you identify as a woman, then you're a woman. And I'll be like, under zero circumstances, <laughs> no matter how I feel or how I identify, I am not a woman, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. If I put on a wig and I put on some makeup, that does not make me a woman. You know, unless you go all the way, chop, chop, I don't think you can be a woman. I don't know. I would but, go so yeah. far as to say, Adam, that even after you chop, chop, chop you're not a woman, you're a mutant. Um, <laughs> just saying. Okay. Well, we all know how Amy feels on this. She believes that all trans men are, in fact, women. We know that. That's how you feel. I mean... I, listen, there are trans people I respect in the community, but they're mm -hmm. also logical enough to be like, yeah, I know that I feel like a woman, but I know yeah. deep down I'm a whole ass man. If mm -hmm. if I was to be buried and they were to dig me up in 10,000 years and yeah. take a look at the bone structure, they would say, that is a man. I appreciate logical people. So. Okay. Well, so do I. Well, there. speaking of logical people, I want you to watch this video oh. of this woman. Here we go. Um, who got a little upset when someone misgendered her. This is clearly a woman. I don't care what you say. This is a woman. Let's roll the tape. Turn the volume up. Ma'am. I said both of you. No, you said sir. Once again, it's ma'am. Well, this video from right here in New Mexico is going viral online. A transgender woman losing her cool when she says an employee at an Albuquerque video game store called her sir instead of ma'am. The video has been viewed more than a million times on YouTube over the last two weeks, and it's getting people talking. Lots of people have made fun of the woman for her outburst. Others say she did the right thing by defending her gender identity. Now only on four, she's telling her side of the story to Kai Porter. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. It's the video seen by millions. Tiffany Moore, a transgender woman who recently started her transition, yelling at an employee inside this Albuquerque GameStop. Moore says the cashier repeatedly called her sir instead of the gender pronoun she identifies with. While she was trying to return a game she bought for her son. Ma'am, once again, ma'am. I said both of you. No, you said sir. Once again, it's ma'am. I actually said both of you guys. Right beforehand, you f***ing said sir. Sir? Okay. Take it outside, <laughs> that, I, I will show you a f***ing sir. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I was so I'm angry at that point. Right. Yeah. Here we go. Here she is. Guys, we turn the volume up. The internet responding to the viral clip with memes like Superman, Aquaman, and Macho Man, Tranny Savage. Tranny is a slang term for transgender that many find offensive and derogatory. What's really sad is it's bringing so many bigots out of woodwork. But more, a local MC and rapper isn't letting the memes get to her. She's using her newfound viral fame to raise awareness about the transgender community, and she even wrote a song to get her message out there. We're humans just like you. We're people just like you. Um, we have kids. We have parents. We have brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, cousins. Um, we're just trying to live. As for how Moore handled the situation inside the store with that expletive-filled outburst? And yeah, I could I could have reacted a whole lot better. But you know what? I, I look back at it. If I could, I wouldn't change a single thing. I would do it 100,000 times again. I would kick over that display 100,000 times again because my actions were justified. I mean, it was, it was blatant and malicious hate. It was blatant and malicious misgendering. And we reached out to GameStop's corporate office for a yeah, statement. For we'll let you know when we hear back. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. um, guys, look, you know, I don't third. care what any of you guys say. That's a woman. A beautiful woman. 
You know, most women, they don't tell you the women I'm into. I'm into when I upset them, they go, oh, really, bro? I'll take it outside. Me and you right now, outside. Shirts it's my kind of lady, guys. It's my kind of lady. Really ladylike. So, you know, as they have famously said, there's three types of genders. There's men, mm -hmm. there's women, and then there's the mentally ill. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I would love to let the ladies weigh in on this. Um, in the spirit of uh, inclusion, inspire, inspiring inclusion, is that person a woman? Should she be celebrated on International Women's Day? Clarissa Martinez, as a mother, I assume that you... <laughs> That you're the type of woman that birthed your own children? I did birth you my did. own children, yep. You know? Uh, How do you feel about the term birthing person? Or would yeah. you prefer Are you a mother or a birthing person? Start with that, yes. I'm a, I'm a mother. Cancel, I'm a woman. Cancel, there it is, cancel. Yes. Clarissa, Clarissa. Unbelievable, unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. I thought you were a birthing person. Yeah. So uh, would, you, would you consider <laughs> Tiffany Moore, she used to be Tommy Moore, uh, a woman, yes or no? Uh, I would not. I just think it's sad how people are attaching themselves to something for their five minutes of fame. Like it was clearly an outright cry for attention. Um, I feel like for the people who are truly transitioning, they tend to be more reserved and more private and, and don't cry for attention, like don't want the spotlight. Like if it's something that sits, I mean, it's everyone's choice, but I feel like most people, reserve the right to do that privately like they're not trying to get their five minutes of fame and kind of expose something um so to me in my opinion i would say no amy uh before you run off for a sec where where do you <laughs> stand on this oh do we even really need to ask okay sorry. but give us you know from a woman's perspective yeah okay so i think that there is so first definitionally what is a trans person right and there's a couple of different categories we could put it in so some people say that there's actually science behind this whole thing of transness because uh say take a okay um, amy i'm gonna pause you for a sec because your mic isn't working mm -hmm. so guys you can talk if there's an issue like that sorry sorry guys okay I jump up? no worries okay. jump on up okay. guys a woman is now leaving the building okay. let's get her <laughs> mic to work i'm sorry about that there's an issue, just screaming out loud. Sarah, I know this is not exactly your comfort zone, but I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say, you're actually a woman, a real woman. Uh, a real woman. <laughs> what would you define this lady as? Well, I think it's, it's I think, no, I don't, I don't consider that person a woman. Mm -hmm. I just don't. I think that anyone like you were saying who is transitioning is actually, you know, trying to educate people in the right way of explaining, okay, this is what I'm going through. This is why I'm going through it. This is, you know, you j just educating someone correctly on it. And that was clearly just like an outburst of just, you're, I don't think that person is well. I don't think that person is well. So bottom line. Not a woman. Not a woman. Okay. Yeah. But it take a bold stance. I know that was tough. Yeah. Sometimes. You Olivia, me. you don't really talk <laughs> politics. I don't. You're a businesswoman. I don't. You know, but you run a massive event with <laughs> models. I, have you dealt with this before? Like if one of the models mm -hmm. was a man and he last year he played as a man, you saw him. You maybe saw a little too much of these volleyball <laughs> games. But this year he's going through his transition, Leah Thomas style, Dylan Mulvaney style. But now this year, he wants to play as a woman, as a business owner. It's a very successful one. Mm -hmm. How would you handle that? So luckily, I have not been put in that position just yet. Um, usually, it's been pretty clear cut on how the models have identified themselves because we also try to make sure that it's not just guys out there smacking the balls and, mm -hmm. and you know, kind of crushing girls and their models. So I, we kind of care about their well-being on the court. Um, I don't want them to get injured or hit their face or do anything kind of crazy. So um, we do have rules in place where a girl has to touch the ball before it goes back over the net. I also one. have that same rule, but not. Yeah. <laughs> the ball, um, but that's no, I, I look. Well, you have co-ed teams. I saw they're yeah. co-ed. Yeah. yeah. So you yeah. have both. Why don't yeah. you have just the men? 
play versus the women. Why don't you do that in your mo in your volleyball games? Why don't you do that? Look, this is all for fun. This is for okay. show. This isn't a, you know a whole he, a whole you know thing that people even need to worry about. I think you just show up and mm -hmm. there's beautiful people mm -hmm. and everyone's having a really great time. Yep. I don't think it's about are you a man? Are you a woman? Um, look, these models do this for their own fun and exposure. Mm -hmm. So like you'll even see like their Instagrams written on their bodies because they want they want to be found, they want to be tagged, mm -hmm. they want to, brands to discover them in a lot of this content that we're doing. So I think it's more of like a joyful vibe, a networking vibe um, versus anything else. Okay. So yeah. Model agencies, they kind of already do the pre-screening for you, essentially, with yeah. like who even is deemed as a model within their agency. So they get mm. to pick who. Yeah, I mean, so and I think to, on the line of like inclusion, yeah. um, we are very much like self-aware that we want everyone of every body type to feel included. We have a plus size agency that's played for, you know, as many years as I can remember. Mm. Um, so I, we want people to feel represented. It's not just being a size zero mm -hmm. on being at Model Volleyball. Well, I got something for you. Yeah. Okay. I know this isn't your comfort zone, but I mean, I got Olivia Ormos here. I'm gonna ask oh a question. Oh my God, we'll yeah. see. You said you got some plus size models there. I do. Uh, of these plus size models, mm -hmm. what percentage of these plus size models are female plus size models versus the male plus size models. We only have female plus oh. size models. Hold on. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> Why not? Why don't you have, wow. I, I, There was an agency that had plus size male models. We'd invite oh. them. You know what agency does that? Which uh, one? The NFL. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's no such thing as male plus size models. Mm -hmm. That's actually there very interesting. Isn't. That's so that that interesting. Even yeah. the mannequins, honestly, you walk into stores like Nike and these yeah. various yeah. stores and they have plus size female mannequins. They don't have any plus size male mannequins because they right. know they can't pander. Yeah. If you are a fat man, like you're a fat dude in a comedy <laughs> trope, but if yeah. you're a fat woman, yeah. you're big, beautiful, and empowered, right? <laughs> right? So that's the big difference there. Yeah. Well, look, you know, as a uh, I mean, look, I, I even played one year. Um, mm. I jumped in on the plus size team because mm. they had three girls uh, cancel. And they looked at me and they were like, we know you know how to play. Like, will you jump in with us? Nice. And I said, all right, I'll play one game. Okay. Nice. And I jumped in and... Probably killed it. We won. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and, and then, then the inner, like, you know, competitor in me was like nuts and I'm looking at the scoreboard and the brackets and I'm yeah. like, all right, if we win this game, then we can get out of the loser's <laughs> brackets here and we can get in here. Yeah. And uh, ended up being such a fun day. Um, and such was, a mindset like exercise yeah. too. Yeah, it was crazy that I was even able to do that, but it was just like, and then I was committed to like really wanting to see this team win. Nice. Um, it was so much, it was funny because some of the opposing team members would come up to the referees and be like, I don't think she should be playing. Yeah. Like, who, maybe yeah. you should tell her. And the ref was like, you want to go talk yeah. to her? Yeah, you want to go talk to the uh, founder and owner of Model Volleyball? Uh, really. she be playing? Yeah, and I think we came in like fifth or sixth or something out of like 12 teams. And that was that's, like, But very so interesting. Good. Yeah. That's so good. Women, we love y'all. Mm -hmm. Tall, short, skinny, it's thick, mm -hmm. booty, it's no true. booty, titties, no titties, all the above. <laughs> the male models, they're all ripped. Abs, diesel, like sh yeah. there's the no like the pressure. There's true. no like fat yeah, dude. The beard is like someone, someone say plus size models, bro. Like, I'm here. <laughs> they've, Sorry, they've been working out since the last month. Listen, guys, you yeah. know I hear a lot of the ladies complaining about I don't like the double standards, but this seems like a double standard. I don't know. <laughs> Amy, your mic wasn't standards. working before. Yeah. But let's get back to this woman and bring this sure. thing home. That's clearly a woman. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Tell me why I'm wrong. So um. If she wants to say, sorry, if he wants to say that, you know, he's a woman, then I'll, I'll grant you that you're a trans woman, okay? That's what you are. But there's a distinct, a distinct difference between a woman and a trans woman. Mm -hmm. So when you look at um, the trans ideology, there's really three different categories. So you have the people who are generally delusional and believe that on a spiritual level, people's souls can be whatever gender they decide is fitting for how they feel and therefore they demand that other people justify their own belief and refer to them as that gender and that's why they believe it's transient you could be male one day female the next you could be a zzer they them you know demon demon self it's it's literally terrifying nowadays uh, then on the other hand you have the people who genuinely believe misguidedly that your brain chemistry can be that of the other sex which is actually Incorrect. Uh, when you look at a trans woman and you do brain scans, her brain chemistry isn't that of a 
female, it's actually that of a gay man. Mm -hmm. If you were to compare a gay man's brain scans to that of a trans woman's brain scans, very identical, it glows up in very similar places. So if anyone tells you it's the brain scan thing, uh, you can dispute that very, very quickly. I believe that transness, most of the times, generally will come about from some type of trauma, at least from some of the research that I've done. I don't think that it's something that people have a genetic predisposition, they're naturally born with it. It's something that goes on in the mind. And the most self-aware trans people I've ever met are the ones who are willing to acknowledge that, admit that, because here's the thing, gender dysphoria, there isn't a cure for it. Mm -hmm. There literally isn't a cure for it aside from maybe uh, you know, a religious cure, right? If you, if you believe in that, if you can go that way. But so far as the mental condition of gender dysphoria, there isn't a known cure. So if they need to transition to alleviate their feelings of discomfort, depression, suicide, whatever, I get that, but you're still not a woman, you are a trans woman. So that's the way I look at it, Adam. Malik, I just well sent you a text if you can pull this thing up, but... Um... Well, we're doing that. Um, I, I, I remember the first time, the, the, it, you know, it's like... Have you encountered, like, a situation, like, a man dressed up like this? Like, have you encountered that while you've been out? Like, yeah, you know, what, you're... that's what um, our friend Malik is going to pull up real quick. But I'll tell you one conversation <laughs> I had. I don't want to see this. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you one conversation I had, and it was, I was... It blew my mind, because, you know... I like hanging out with the ladies. It's great. We have fun. I, I like getting a take. But obviously, we have men on the show. We've done right. a lot of red pill content. We've done relationship content, money content. I, I'm, a, I'm a guy's guy. Mm -hmm. Like, you see, like, on the weekends when we go yes. out, you know, whether it's Dustin or it's Michael and Mark, I'm a, I'm a, I played college football. I'm a dude, right? <laughs> I say there's three things I like to do in this world. I like to work and make money. I like to hang out with my boys, and I like to hang out with hot chicks, yeah. regular chicks. That's just kind of me. That's fine. I don't really have hobbies. I'm not... <laughs> collecting stamps, I'm not doing rock climbing, I'm not gonna go That's bungee true. jump with you this weekend. You know, I hang out with the dudes or with some chicks. <sighs> but this one time I got this conversation and, and this lady kept, she's like, That's because you're a cis man. And what you don't understand <laughs> is a cis man is that the cis man, and I remember I was like, She just wouldn't let me get a word in. And I remember saying, I said, What the f? And she called me a sissy? Is that, is that, you want to go? Oh, wow. I thought you thought you were I never yeah. heard this term. There's a lot of men watching this right now. They're probably like me. They're like, Yikes. what the hell's a cis man? Yeah. And what is a cis man, Amy? Oh, man. Wait. Hold on. Amy, what's a cis man? A, a cis man, I mean, it's a disgrace of a definition, but it is a man who's born a man who identifies as a man. I who's mean, just it's a the man. Obvious, just yeah, a man. it's just a fucking man. Now, what is a cis So where does cis come from, cis? Well, it's because trans people, they feel like they're transgender, right? And at this point, they don't want to be accepted. They don't just want to be accepted, they want to be celebrated. They want to be on a level up. And so they want to give us our own special name as well, our own special category. So yeah. it didn't come from anywhere really in science it didn't come from any logical person that's the trans ideology definition just for a normal fucking person yeah I, it blew my mind i was like this lady wants trying to fight me she's calling me a sissy like we'll go lady. <laughs> like, it just turns out that a cis man is a man and there's a lot of dudes out there that are like I didn't what know the that. hell is this terminology all about yeah. one time i went to go book a flight um and i hit the drop down box and i i don't remember what airline and I, you know, it's either male or female. Mm -hmm. Dude, the, there was like 75 different options that I can pick from. This term, I was in Europe at the time. Oh. And it was like, man, woman, man, child. I was like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, cis man, cis this, trans this, trans. I, I just, I, I was like, how many different, what is going on here? What am I? So I just went with woman. There you go. Because <laughs> I can do whatever the hell I want. Anyway, you asked if I had any encounters. Yes. Uh, Amy, do you remember this encounter that you had with <laughs> this woman right here? You can play this right. Maybe <laughs> fast forward a little bit to see when Amy and mm. our friend Vinny. And let's turn this volume up. Wait. Oh, no. Hey, Baby. hey how you what? doing? Careful. Uh, oh, God. Don't. Hi. Let the ladies clout. weigh in who've been here the whole show, and then I'm gonna give you the final word. Is that fair? Yeah, but, but do me one favor though. <laughs> Nat, Nat, she kept saying him and dude and guy. I'm a woman, so be respectful. <laughs> Nat, even, even your D voice. Why is she so I hate bitches like this. I hate them. What are your what are your thoughts? So would you be comfortable with a person like this in the bathroom? Like, it's, I don't understand. Can you go to the point where Amy and him get into it? It's probably towards the uh, beginning a little bit. 
with Amy. Oh no. Transitioning yes. into society. Here you go. Here's Amy. Here's, here's how Amy feels about no. trans. So you're saying passing women. is acceptable, but not. Well, here's yes. the thing, because at the end of the day, it's Blair like why you want if, people to make you feel no, like you guys like, don't know what's going on. Right. Here's the people thing: trans, this is, this trans, is trans people. No, 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 it's not trans, trans people. I'm trans not people back in the day used to have a goal of actually transitioning yes. into society versus being like, "Here I am," and fuck what anybody else has to say. It's, that used to be the goal of trans people, and most transsexuals, not trans people, but transsexuals, okay. will admit that they would never walk into the opposite bathroom unless they actually but pass. It comes Amy, down to let secondary. me ask you a question. And I'm, I, can I, listen, I'm going to host this show. We've got like 10 minutes. You hear minutes. that thunder though? That's God pissed off. Listen. 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 The only person that's going to speak is me. And if I call on you, you can speak. Now, if you start speaking out of turn, I'm going to kick you off the show. Everyone. So, ladies. All yes. I'm gonna ask, can, uh, don't make me ask you again, please. Let me host the show. I would like the lady's opinion here. Pixie, would you be comfortable with someone like this in your bathroom? Like, what I do love you, how, how personally, would you it up to? personally, yes. I do not give a fuck about who's in my bathroom. Anyway, go to the end now, just see how this situation ended. Okay, if you're in um, Exactly, listen. so why are you treating it like a fucking joke? It's you're not doing it. Yeah, 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 Pixie. The lady's oh, gotta weird. do it. I guess, here's my really? ultimate point. As, as a, I could be wrong, I don't know, I don't know how this works. Have you? No, it? no, Adam. No, no I haven't. <laughs> I'm not fully there yet. It's so a decision. Have, so when I'm with a dude, I hook up with the dude. I see your package. Dude. Yeah, and do, do you have a problem? <laughs> Get the fuck up. No. Oh, 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 you. You're a You can do your show. Oh, 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 you can do Look, sometimes, sometimes behind a woman with a wig is just a dude with some gray, gray hair. That, I'm just telling what I'm saying right there. Uh, Cat Williams. Um, he's been, you know, Dave Chappelle called out the trans community. He got into it a little bit. Right. Um, and Cat Williams was just on Rogan. He had something to say here on this. Let's see if we can play this clip real quick. I like that. Look at it from a different way. Look at it. Show me one person that ever wore a dress in Hollywood unsuccessfully. 1.25. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's how you understand what a ritual is. Mm. So 20 years ago, I knew that transgenders was going to be a thing. It wasn't because I was a prophet. It's just I had gotten so much information that I understood the that path. things are secular. So I understood that the earliest I had seen that word transgender was um, Baphomet, the transgender. Mm -hmm. um, and so I knew that the, in the ritual of Baphomet, the transgender, to show allegiance to him, you had to kiss his ass ring. Really? And it said both of those things. So I knew that both of those things would become popular in the future and that um, somehow calling people the goat would be normalized over the sheep being always the most popular reference. Let's just God damn, it. we got some good weed, Cat. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's it. Yeah, really. So Cat Williams has been talking about this. And um, look, I don't think, you know, there's something called transphobia. Mm -hmm. A phobia is when you're scared of something. Nobody's, nobody I know is transphobic. Nobody's scared of trans people. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of people that are scared that we're losing our mind. Yeah. And that there's just this lack of common sense and if you're like, yeah, I don't, I don't know if that woman is actually a woman, mm -hmm. you're, you're a bigot, you're transphobic, right. you're racist. It's like, no, I'm just, just kind of normal. Yeah. You know, the problem I have is everyone wants to live my truth. I'm just living my truth. I don't know about, this is my truth. The problem with my truth is it's not the truth. And that's where a lot of the slippery slope goes down is people want to live their truth. I got to give a shout out to my grandpa real quick. Can we play that, uh, that, um, that clip? My grandpa, Aww. you know, World War II, this guy's been around forever. He's doing his thing. He had a little encounter with a trans woman and he wasn't uh, pulling any punches. He wanted to give this nice woman a piece of his mind and let's, let's play this. It's really 
Marvin and Dwayne. Well, I'm telling you, <laughs> as a man, that's bullshit. It's total bullshit. They have right. to tolerate You're that shit. shit. You are fucking nuts. Let's wake you up you are truth, nuts. Sir. You're not a woman. You don't look like a woman. You don't act like a woman. Really? You're fucked really? in the head. What's wrong really? with you? You are fucked in the head. You're really? an embarrassment to the really? community. Look at yourself, for Christ's sakes. Really? For Christ's sakes, who would want to even, even be close? My God. Really? It's horrible. It's you horrible are not a fucking chick. How do you fucking live with yourself? How do you think there's one person that really thinks that you're a chick? I know a lot of people that agree with me and that accept me for who you I know, am. What the fuck's wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Why? Because what? this is who I am. Oh, sir. fuck this that shit. This is who I am. Fuck that shit. You can't shit. deal with it. I don't want to deal back with on you on that. I think more people are maybe low-key transphobic to the one that we just saw online. Like, if I saw that out in public, I would be scared to approach them. I would be a little bit more hesitant. Mm -hmm. Now, would I say I feel that way towards everybody making that transition? No, but there are some of them out there that I'm scared of. I've had, I told you I had that encounter with someone like that in the bathroom. You know, they thought I stole their phone and he looked like he was about to sock me. He had a beard oh on. Gosh, I'm like, really? I'm like, I think it's a little too much. And so if you ask me, like, am I scared of like those type of reactions? Absolutely. So I think mm -hmm. people even have that fear they wouldn't say it's a phobia per se, mm -hmm. but when you have encounters like that and they're representing a certain community, you can't help but say, yeah, I'm a little scared of, you know, that type of reaction, you know? There's, a, there's levels to it like Amy shared. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think even being open about being a little fearful of it mm -hmm. because that also allows that community to know, hey guys, you know, it's coming a little bit too far. You know, this community is, you're now scaring people. I know you want to be accepted, but now you're scaring us. Mm -hmm. So I think even just people also acknowledging like, this is a scary thing that's happening. Um, and it's sad because, you know, there's people who do transition and they want to be undercover and they want to be accepted. Mm -hmm. So you have that representing them and they even feel ashamed. And it's mm -hmm. like, how do you accept, you know, they, they really feel unaccepted at that point. Yeah. So really Well, really I'll end it here. And before we move to the next topic, here's what I'll tell you. Um, most guys I know, they're, you know, the thing, the, a lot of the, what you hear about men and women is that men are more disagreeable. We're just like, nah, bro, I don't play that shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Where women are like, no, it just, you know, it's, 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 let's accept each other. Come on. We're nurturers. Let's be, let's be nice. You're nurturing. That's great. Mm -hmm. You're a little bit more agreeable. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we have one, Close two, three, four, like, five women, <laughs> cis women, who are like at the end of the day, yeah, that's not a woman. So the theme of inspiring inclusion, again, slippery slope here. So um, thank you for disagreeing with me, all you ladies, that that is in fact uh, a woman, because I don't care what you guys say. That man is a woman. I don't care that what you say. Man that out. man is a woman. <laughs> that man Beautiful. is a woman. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you like that one, click right here to watch the full Sauce cast, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.